Hi, uh, this is Hector. And uh, yes, I want to continue with uh, the problem I find in my behavior. Uh, and, and what uh, I've been abstaining from is getting complacent. Because once I get complacent, I think I try to convince myself that I'm a normal person, that I'm okay, that I don't need to engage in recovery, that I don't need to hear the word of God, and I don't need to do any any of that stuff that uh, really feeds, you know, my spirit, my mind, and gives me energy. Uh, so I believe that, uh, you know, a repentance is not a one-time thing, but it's a process, just like relapse. Relapse is not an event, but it is a process. So I gradually start not doing what has helped me in the past to do what is convenient. And so gradually, you know, my flesh starts convincing my mind that uh, it is okay not to go to church it is okay to not to take my meds for anxiety and depression and stuff like that you know so when i find myself like a month ago or two months ago i had to stop uh, working because i found myself in a situation where i couldn't handle my anxiety anymore and I had to take a FMLA uh, from work um, which is a leave that I'm allowed to do it with pay uh, by the District of Columbia DC so I am uh, convinced that uh, in my inner side uh, there uh, is something built in me which the Bible calls uh, the flesh and mental health uh, has diagnosed me with, uh, you know, a brain disorder or uh, like um, uh, chemical imbalance, and that's why my I, it's very hard for me to manage my emotions. But if I practice what I know that works, if I continue practice without getting complacent. Uh, I will not suffer, uh, you know, anxiety to the levels where I experienced it uh, like two months ago for not doing what I'm supposed to do. Uh, so, yes, I definitely need to continue change my behavior, but not getting complacent, but doing what I'm supposed to do, praying, going to church, or read my Bible at home. And, uh, you know, repentance, as I mentioned before, it's, it's an ongoing uh, process. And I'm not in heaven yet. And the devil has not finished with me. And God hasn't uh, finished with me. I like what the Bible says in Psalms 25, 18. It says, look upon my affliction and my pain and forgive me all my sins. So even though my intention is not to sin, uh, you know, we have a flesh. I still live in the flesh and in this unreliable evil world that, you know, provides temptation to me every day. So I need to uh, uh, be aware of my vulnerability because I'm a vulnerable being and continue change so that I don't uh, get complacent. And if I don't get complacent, uh, my anxiety and depression levels can be reduced to a level where I can manage myself. Okay? So, uh, how do I rate my progress? I would say 7 to 8 right now, because I've been uh, resting, I've been meditating, praying, going to that. Right now, after this, uh, I complete this blog, I'm going to the gym. I'm going to swim. 
and uh, you know I'm taking it easy for now and applying to to jobs too because uh, I don't think I'm going back to that same job uh, I'm gonna go to a different one thank you very much bye bye